in the bright like rainbow. <laughs> when we leave the boys alone, this is what happens. another one of our 10 things not to do in insert country here part of our travel series uh, today's country is Japan Woo! so disclaimer the farthest north I've been is Fukushima for the south <laughs> I've been is like um, Kobe and Osaka so this is based off of those areas so number one don't go anywhere without your trusty dusty hand towel not actually dusty <laughs> needs to be clean most of the bathrooms you'll go into don't have paper towels so you they all carry these with them you, it saves energy and it's like not wasteful so they mm -hmm. all buy these and they walk around they dry their hands with them you can buy them at all the train stations just about um any follow up question do they hands. have hand dryers no. no number two cash don't forget your cash um, this is not a card based society yet unless you live there and you have like your train pass. Three, uh, don't forget a coin pouch because their money like up to like 500 yen which is like five US dollars is in coin. Guys, it's in coin. So you'll be handing all these coins you're like I don't know what to do. So you need a little coin pouch with you. Number four, as a traveler do not skip the JR pass. You buy it beforehand, it's about $300, and it gets you through all the rail systems. You just hold up your little pass and you walk through. And that gets you Shinkansens, which is the bullet trains, and it gets you all of your local train routes and everything, as long as it's a JR route, which if you're in Tokyo, it's pretty much everything. And so it saves you so much money because one Shinkansen ride from like Tokyo to um, like Osaka or something, is going to be like $300 anyways so you just went there and back and you've already made your money's worth but also it's just so convenient so you don't have to go up to the little kiosk put your little coins in figure out which train you're supposed to get on and then do all of that and if you get on the wrong train it's okay because you it's your JR pass you just get on another one because it's really useful but it's something only foreigners can do so if you live in Japan you're traveling elsewhere in Japan you can't get that that one was I think 90 days you can buy up to more like two weeks and then like months and stuff all of that you can buy number five don't expect to fit in anywhere except Harujuku with like the outfits and the like brightly colored hair they just don't do that really and so actually even if you do see those people in Harajuku they're usually the workers like that's their job to dress like that so just keep that in mind that all of Japan isn't like this fashion rainbow whatever they'll stare at you because they can't dye their hair their hair is black but also they're not allowed to dye their hair anyways while they're in school uh number six it's for just the females do not get drunk if you have to be anywhere alone um a drink counts as consent in japan so just keep that mindful <laughs> seven don't expect spice if it says spicy on your thing Ask for more because it's not spicy. You're like, they're like, oh, be careful, it's spicy. They put black pepper on it. Like, no, <laughs> it's not spicy. And then if you ask for like crushed red pepper or anything like that, like, oh, I don't know if you can handle this. I'm like, you can't handle it. You can't. Eat. Do not skip their like ethnic foods. So no, don't go to Japan and just eat Japanese food. Try like their different types of food because their interpretation of it is different than ours. And it's really interesting. Like they have, I went to an- Do Italian, they have Southern barbecue? I didn't see any, but they probably do. They have Korean barbecue, which is amazing. So good. But yeah, they have, I went to this little Italian restaurant and they had um, on the inside was cheese and meat. And then it was encased in rice and then it was fried or baked. I'm not sure which. And then it was covered in red meat sauce. It was so good. You opened it up and that cheese oozed out. It was so delicious. And it's probably my favorite Italian thing I've ever had. And it was in Japan. <laughs> if you're going anywhere that requires you to not use trains and use the buses, uh, 
make sure you double check on the bus schedule because their buses don't continue continue running like the trains do like especially if you're in tokyo the trains are like every 10 minutes or something like that or the buses will stop whenever you're in like fukushima city and stuff around like seven so if you miss that bus you're stuck 10. if you can't find a restaurant and google says you're there don't forget to look down so a lot of the restaurants are underground. It looks like there's a little subway station, like those subway stairs that lead down. That's not the subway. <laughs> Sometimes you go down and it's like a mall underneath. And so there's shopping, food, cause they're all connected to the train stations or the subway stations underground that way. So sometimes you'll be walking around and Google was like, you're here. And I'm like, no, I'm not. <laughs> but you're on top yeah, of it. Yeah, you're on top of it. Look for stairs that lead down because then you'll find a lot more food. All right, so that has been my 10 things not to do slash to do for Japan. Hope that helps. If you have any others that you feel are really important, let us know in the comments below. All right, thanks.